and more fallout from the disclosure of a secret program in Baltimore City to track the cell phones of criminal suspects. An attorney with the ACLU says the constitutional rights of thousands of defendants may have been violated. ABC2 News Christian Schaefer in the newsroom with more on that story tonight. Kelly Jamie, the technology is commonly called Stingray. City police call it cell site simulator technology. It intercepts cell signals, making itself act like a cell phone tower, giving police the exact location of the phone they're looking for, or more specifically, the person who is carrying it. City police say they've used cell site simulator technology 4,300 times since 2007, intercepting cell phone signals, tracking a suspect's phone, often leading to an arrest. We will use every resource available to reduce violent crime and arrest people responsible for those violent crimes. But when those cases went to court, city police did not talk about how they gathered the evidence. A memo from the FBI directed them not to. ACLU of Maryland attorney David Roca says that is a clear violation of the defendant's Fourth Amendment rights. The fact that you have the chief law enforcement agency of the entire country telling local law enforcement to hide the ball and to divulge only the evidence but not how it was obtained, that's what happens in totalitarian societies, right? We don't have secret evidence in this country, or at least we're not supposed to. Police say they have complied with state law and the technology does not allow them to record calls, see texts or emails, or see who owns a phone or obtain any personal information. I think we have an obligation to the people of Baltimore that if we have the opportunity to find somebody who's taken the life of one of your family members, or if we have the opportunity to find somebody that might have been kidnapped, that we have to take that opportunity and use every resource available to do that. Roca says that's not the point. The, the point is, if they want to use the technology, then do it in the way that the Constitution allows, meaning give the person a fair trial. And he says after eight years and thousands of undisclosed uses of the technology, why should the public believe the police are not misusing any information they gather? We're just supposed to trust them? when they've essentially lied about the use of the technology in the first place, and now we're supposed to trust them that they're not keeping any information? Now, the effect of that agreement between city police and the FBI was that in many cases, instead of having to talk about the stingray in open court, prosecutors would push for a plea deal. Police say they will continue to use the stingray. The ACLU is still considering what it will do about the 4,300 or so cases where the device was used over the past eight years. Live in the newsroom, Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.